Same year that my father died, I saw two of my schoolmates drown. I was there for the second one. I was among the swimmers and saw it happen. To take things in order, though, the first boy to drown was Clint Levering, a worldly boy whose demise my comrades and I at first attributed to divine retribution. That's what the books and the church had taught us, that the lives of bad boys would come to horrendous and early ends like this. But then, just three weeks later, Dutchy, the model boy of the village, also drowned, and this was inexplicable to us. Clint's death was understandable. It corresponded with what we had been taught, and it further instilled the fear of divine wrath coming upon us from wrongful living. This affected my annoyingly overactive conscience to the point that I had a hard time sleeping. But at least when I did sleep, it was with the added entertainment of nightmares. I viewed every storm as a warning. Every crash of thunder and lightning strike seemed to me a harbinger of what was to come to me if I did not improve. Not that I was truly wicked, no, nothing like it. But in my ignorance and innocence, I thought perhaps I was. And the same could be said of Clint Levering, for he was by no means a hardened criminal. When Dutch had drowned, though, it threw us into great confusion. Where was the logic in it? What had Dutchy done to deserve that fate? Maybe it didn't matter how you lived, I reasoned, as you could die at any time, even if you were the model boy of the village.